In this video, I'm going to show you a workflow that you can use to be able to generate Google documents that have properly formatted tables in them. Now, I have another video where I show you a process to be able to create properly formatted Google Docs. I'll include a link in the description below. But one of the issues that we were having with it, and we were kicking around in our advanced community, how do we solve this is tables. Because tables are these things that don't necessarily transfer correctly. And in fact, if you look at the actual code that gets processed by N8N, a lot of tables just look like Markdown. So when we were trying to pass them into Google Docs, they always just output it as Markdown. No matter what process we were working with, no matter what we tried to do, it would always just come out as a Markdown table. It never looked right. And so one of our community members, Jason Guest, came up with this process and he told me that I can go ahead and share it with you all. So here we go. But this is a process that you'll be able to use. And I'll have a link in the description below to go to my free school community to get it. But what it'll do is it'll process your file or your, your text. It'll determine whether you're sending it Markdown or HTML that's already been formatted. Whichever way it does, it'll create the document and make it so that that table finally looks right in Google Docs. So let me go ahead and run this now and I'll show you um, our results. Nice, quick little thing. I've set this up with a, when executed by uh, another workflow node, that way this can be used as a tool at the end of any of your bots that you need to turn into a Google Doc. Let me just come over to my Google Drive and here we go. This is what I just generated just, uh, just now. Yep, and we open this up. We get nice proper formatting. We got a header here. We got bolding. We got lists. We got dividers. Everything I would hope to see. Um, as well as if I scroll down, boom, we got a table. It's even recognized as a table in Google Docs. So absolutely wonderful. This is exactly what we're hoping to have. And this is definitely something you'll be able to use to take your workflows to the next level. If you want a copy of today's workflow, simply click the link in the description below to go to our free school community where you can download this and a host of other useful N8N workflows. Once inside, you'll find all of our free downloads in the classroom, as well as instructions on how to set everything up and all the tools you'll need to get it running, as well as a host of other helpful N8N tutorials. And if you think this is going to be helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video, it really does help. And if you're anything like me, most likely through the years, you've been making worksheets and documents and things for your clients or things for your business all by hand. So you've been going in, creating a Google Doc and formatting it and trying to figure out how to get this to work. Well, thankfully, with all these n 8 n tools, the AI automation, the processes are so simple. You saw that live. It generated it all. I'll show you, you know, exactly what it was input in a second, but it output about a four page. Now, how long was this? You know, a four page document in only a couple of seconds with all the formatting and the tables. Definitely something that you'll be able to use to really jumpstart your business, be able to make some really cool things that you can either give away, turn into lead magnets, turn into products for your company, and so much more. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, what I do, I have here is a, um, a when executed by another workflow node. And that's just so that you can have this as an attachment to any of your other workflows. Anything else that generates text, if you want to turn it into a document that's been properly formatted, all you got to do is attach a uh, execute workflow node and call to this tool. So let's just go ahead and go see what we got in here. I've got a couple inputs. We've got title, text, and a drive ID. You'll need a, an, a folder ID in order to be able to make sure it gets put into the right folder. But you'll see here my text. It's all in Markdown at the moment. And it's it's quite a lot. You know, this was four pages of text. And here is that table. You know, I can't make this go away. But here's this table right in here. All right. It's... It's not very pretty. It's kind of ugly formatting, but it's very clearly marked down. And so what we do is we run it through an edit fields node just to make sure that we lock in the field of text. We're going to pass that text into here and then just make sure that text is passed forward because we're going to pass this into this code node here. Now this code node, I don't know how to read code. ChatGPT made this. In fact, um, um, it was uh, Jason who made this for us. And so uh, I didn't tweak any of it. I left it exactly how he wrote it for us. And I'm assuming he had AI write it for him. Um, he didn't say otherwise. But what it's doing is it's taking the text 
And all it's really doing is determining whether this is Markdown or HTML. And we do that because we have two different processes here. If you're passing HTML, you can all kind of just send it right through. You don't have to do the process of turning it from Markdown to HTML. So we have both processes in here. Uh, we have the if node is checking whether it is going to be is being output as Markdown. So we come down here. The detected type says Markdown, and it has confidence of you know ninety nine percent. It's pretty pretty certain that this is Markdown. All right. All right. If we come up the Markdown path here, we see we have a Markdown node, and it's converting Markdown to HTML, and we're simply passing the text from the original node, from our, um, our trigger node, and we're gonna output a, a field called data. All right, but we also have a couple options turned on. We have mandatory space before headers turned on, no header ID, and tables support as well. And this is really the key that makes it all work. All right, we then pass that to a convert to file node. The convert to file node takes the data input and it's gonna output a file called file and then we have a file name where it's we're pulling from our trigger node of our title and then dot html so we'll see here i've got the roi driven time strapped agency owner dot html our file extension is html which is what we're looking for it is a text slash plane to start but we'll talk about that in a second all right we then have this code node here which is going to convert it from that text slash plain to a text slash HTML. So it's no longer just plain text. Now it's an HTML file, which is exactly what we need to be able to upload to the Google Docs API. All right, while that's going on, we also have a Google Drive node here, which you may not normally use. This is a function you may not normally use. It's a create from text option. All right, so we're gonna create a file from text. Uh, you set up your Google Doc or Google Drive credentials. If you don't know how to do that, I'll have a link in the description below. Um, our resources file, operation is create from text. Our file content, we just have something here, file content. All right, our file name is that name again that we got from our trigger node. Our parent drive is my drive, or if yours is called something else, it'd be that. And our parent folder, this is where that drive ID comes in. So we have to make sure that it gets put into the correct folder here in Google Drive. So in order to do that, just come up to your URL on the top, and then you've come to the last slash here, grab everything over there, and that would be the uh, drive ID that you need. All right, you put um, all, make sure that was in your trigger node over here, and then we run this, it'll create the file, and then everything gets merged together. And then we have one, and the merge node, I guess I should mention, is a combine by position. And we have two inputs. So it's gonna combine the file that I created with the tech text file, which is in the HTML format. And then we have one more node, which is our Google Drive update node. All right, so Google Drive credentials, resources file. Our operation is update. Our file to update is the, uh, it's coming from our, Google, our last Google Drive node one right here. It's just json.id. And then we have change file content turned on. Our input data field name is gonna be file, and that would be our HTML file that we have. Leave the new updated file name empty unless you'd like to change it. And then make sure that you have return fields of ID and web view link. And this will give us the ID for the document as well as the actual link that we can use to go look at it. So if I come over here, I open this up, and it'll open up just like that. So that's exactly how we get this to work. Nice little workflow that'll allow you to be able to create not just properly formatted Google Docs, but formatted tables within those Google Docs as well. So this was really the last hurdle that we had to be able to go from having to use other third-party services that were making our, um, our documents for us in PDF form. Now I can make them in Google Doc and it's gonna be perfectly formatted and then I can turn that into a PDF if I want and be able to then send that out. So it's a really cool, really awesome workflow and uh, hopefully this one helps you. And if you're serious about building AI automation tools into your business using N8N, be sure to check out our advanced community where we give new tools each week that will actually make a difference in your business. This is where we keep all of our exclusive tools and resources for committed business owners looking to ride this AI wave. In addition, you'll get direct access to me to help you through your setup and tech issues, our business building course library, and so much more. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.